All right, guys. So your boy moved to Dubai. And I don't know why I'm sitting outside right now because it's like literally 37 degrees. This is, I think, my seventh, eighth day here. Uh, you know, my front yard's the Burj Khalifa view. I'm in a very nice apartment uh, downtown. I actually moved with my good friend, Ramin. He does a lot of similar stuff to me, Ecom. He has a personal brand as well. And I met him when I was traveling in Australia for over six months, okay? And the perfect time to move to Dubai, well, I guess there is no perfect time, but it felt like the perfect time. It felt like the stars aligned because I was thinking about it for a while. Obviously, there's some serious financial incentives and benefits to coming out here as, you know, an expat, basically working online, building my businesses. And one of those is the 0% tax situation. So let me first walk you through exactly the steps that I took to move out here, uh, why I moved out here. And then also I'll make sure that I provide tons of value to you guys in this video. We're actually going to be linking up with uh, one of my good friends and mentors who recently moved out here as well, Jad Kentari. Maybe you've seen him on a previous video. Um, but yeah, so right now I'm chilling in my apartment. I'm on the balcony. Uh, Ramin is living with me as well. And then my buddy Reed Smith has flown down um, from my hometown to spend some time with us out here. And then we have some plans to travel around Europe uh, for the summer because obviously it's getting really, really hot here right now but let's first start with why i moved out here so like i said i've been thinking about it for a while uh for a number of different reasons number one being the financial incentives uh the zero percent tax number two being the network there's so many amazing people that i want to meet link up with out here i've already linked up with quite a few and it just seems like there's infinite things to do there's infinite dinners to step out for infinite people to meet up with so many amazing things to do for content as well for you guys i can do some crazy stuff and put it on youtube out here I can also do some crazy stuff for tiktok instagram etc so those are kind of the main reasons and why i feel like it was the perfect time is well i was traveling australia for the past you know five six months and when i was out there i met Ramin and he became one of my good friends um, and also business partners now are working on some stuff. So he had already moved out here, but he was back in Australia visiting family and spending some time. So he was already a resident, he already had his company set up, etc. And he was able to walk me through the process very smoothly and efficiently. So again, the power of your network, who you know, is so, so important because that cut down my time exponentially to figuring out how to actually make this move and do it. So now I'm gonna tell you guys pretty much what I did. So. He told me that I should just go through a company. It's so much easier. So I found Creative Zone, and this is not like a sponsored video or anything. I'm just telling you, they're the name of a company out here that essentially helps people, helps you know, digital nomads and expats come out here to Dubai, set up their business, build, grow, and obviously take advantage of that 0% tax. So if you go on creativezone.com, um, literally you can start a WhatsApp conversation with them in minutes. And from there, you just start submitting a bunch of different information about your income, your company, who you are, your country, your passport, et cetera, et cetera. And they actually go ahead and take care of all the paperwork. They do all the filing, everything you need to go ahead and get started. Now, they'll put you on a tourist visa. So it's like a one week or a two week uh, visa that allows you to come to Dubai and take care of what needs to be taken care of in order to get your Emirates ID. Uh, and as you guys can see, one second, ta-da, I'm an official UAE resident. Uh, this is my Emirates ID right here. And it took about a week to get since I got here, which is honestly not bad at all. And the process upon arrival, obviously with my tourist visa, once I, I gained access to the country, came in, set up shop in my apartment, then I had to go in for biomedical. So, you know, blood tests, x-rays, uh, face scanning, uh, fingerprint scanning, etc. And that whole process took a couple hours at most. So very, very smooth, very seamless, very easy. Again, Creative Zone kind of handled everything. They literally picked me up uh, in a car from my apartment, took me to the place that I need to go got my stuff done, waited for me, filled out the papers, I signed some stuff and then brought me back. And then within a couple of days, they, they went ahead and contacted me and said, hey, uh, you know, your Emirates ID is in, come pick it up. And then I literally just went into their office, which is actually very close to where I am downtown, picked up the Emirates ID and just like that, I was good to go. I'm an official resident for two years. Um, and the cost to this, I think it was around uh, four or $5,000 USD. Uh, for a two-year uh, residency here. And then you do have to renew that every two years. 
Um, there was a couple other thousand dollars that I spent with Creative Zone in order for them to do everything for me. But all in all, you know, spending a few thousand dollars coming out here, setting up a company and getting 0% tax and, you know, living in this amazing place as well uh, is, you know, not too bad of a trade off in my opinion. So now obviously I know some people are going to be like, oh, it's so much cheaper if you did this or if you did that. Look, I get it, but I want convenience. Um, you know, no hassle, no headache, ease, stress-free because I'm on the move, I'm traveling. I came from Australia to Canada to here and now I wanna to go to Europe. So building a new home base, uh, becoming a resident in a new country is obviously not something that happens overnight super easily, um, but it certainly did feel that way uh, with the process and the steps that I took. Um, even if I had to spend a little bit more money than you know, you're actually supposed to. But yeah, that was kind of my process in getting here and getting set up. Oh, we out here. We out Fire. here. Palm Island. Naz. Rolls. Rolls. We locked up. Empty curbs. Welcome. Visiting the boy, Chad Cantara. What's up? Sounds good. Hello, hello. What's up, good man? to see you. Cheers. There he is. All right, Nate. So where are we right now? We're literally standing at like the highest point in any building you can possibly stand in in the world. It's absolutely unbelievable. The view from here, like I've never been up this high. This is a crazy feeling. These buildings below us are massive as well. And they look like <laughs> ants when we're up here. I feel like I can see the whole world from up here. Like it's just crazy how far I can see. 